Hey, how you doing? This is Ty with GreenRegimen.com, and this is week one of our intermediate smoothie series. By now, your palates should be pretty accustomed to drinking these delicious green smoothies. But if you haven't completed our beginner smoothie series, then make sure you do before starting this intermediate series. Today, we're actually going to be making what's called the locale smoothie, and you'll actually understand why I called it the locale smoothie. So let's get started. One cup of water. And we're going to actually use ice this time, but I would say only about a half cup of ice we're going to use. So as a base today, we're actually going to use nectarines. Now, actually here, you can take a look. One nectarine I'm actually using today. Now, nectarines are high in beta carotene. And beta carotene, pretty simply, is it's an element that once it's ingested into our bodies, our bodies turn the beta carotene into vitamin A, which of course strengthens our eyes. So that's one nectarine. Now, one cup of cantaloupe. And as you recall from our beginner smoothie series, cantaloupe is high in vitamin C, as well as high in beta carotene. And last of the fruits is watermelon. One cup of watermelon. Watermelon high in vitamin A and high in vitamin C, as well as in the summertime, watermelon is a great fruit to actually eat or drink in a smoothie because it has a very high water content. So it helps our body from being dehydrated. Okay, and for today's green, we are actually gonna use chard. Now, chard can be found in a variety of different colors, such as rainbow chard or Swiss chard, also known as green chard. And you've probably seen it in a grocery store, probably just walked right by it, just like I did until I started drinking these green smoothies. I didn't even know that chard existed, but you can go to just about any grocery store and you'll find it there. Now, I really want you to take a look here at this chard leaf and actually look at the veins that are running through it. See, I consider this, this leaf life and uh, when it comes to these green smoothies, of course, the leafy greens, they have a high amount of vitamin K, a high amount of vitamin A, vitamin C. But what's also special about these green leaves is they have what's known as phytonutrients. Now, phytonutrients are naturally recurring components that actually help us protect our bodies from viruses and bacteria. So in essence, these green smoothies, these phytonutrients boost our health. So for this smoothie, we're actually gonna use a cup of chard. Okay, now, before I blend this up though, I do wanna say that uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about how great the smoothies taste. And then some people tell me that they've been a little creative and you know they might have thrown in a little bit extra green and all of a sudden when they're done, it just tastes terrible. Now, remember from video one, I told you, I've taken the time to measure this stuff out for you. And of course, when you've been doing the smoothies for a couple weeks, a couple months, sure, go ahead and throw whatever greens, whatever fruits you want to and together. Once your palate is used to it, but right now your palate is probably not used to it, so make sure you stick to the recipe as I've outlined it, because I have spent the time to do it for you. Okay, lecture is over, let's get to blending. All right, so you know, I also wanted to cover one more thing with you about these green smoothies. These green smoothies contain a high amount of fiber and fiber is great for our digestive system because they keep it running smoothly. Also, what fiber does is fiber satiates our hunger. So in essence, we drink enough of these green smoothies, such as the locale as a great meal replacement. We don't feel as hungry. Now that's the key and this is where I'm trying to get you to because once we get into the advanced series, we won't be using as much fruit, more greens, equals more fiber, equals more opportunities to have meal replacements, low calorie meal replacements, but still get all the nutrients that we need. And still get all the taste. And another question I was asked is, how long can I keep these green smoothies in the refrigerator to keep them fresh? So in my opinion, I say, try to drink these green smoothies within 24 hours, maximum 48 hours. This recipe makes about four cups, each cup averaging less than 50 calories. It's fresh, 
You want to have it as soon as possible. I want to have another sip. The locale. You know where the recipe is right underneath this video. See you next week.